Put away your tinfoil hat, you guys, because there's a retired FBI agent that's turning around and saying that the official story of Brian Laundrie's death might not actually be the truth. And I've pretty much got one question to that one. What the hell? up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd the alter nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down today's true crime story that's pretty much caught my eye and yes there is a retired fbi agent that's pretty much turning around and saying that the official versions of brian laundry's death could actually be doubtful and her reasoning is actually quite compelling to be fair before we jump into it though you know that nice shiny red subscribe button it's giving you a little bit of a cheeky wink. Do me a favor, will you? Give it a nice little tickle. Subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe. Like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And let's jump into it, shall we? So this is from the Daily Mail. And it's saying uh, that retired FBI agent Jennifer Coffin Daffer suggests Brian Laundry may have had help in ending his life after autopsy reveals um, that he shot himself with his non-dominant hand before his body was found, basically used by animals in a Florida swamp in October. Now, this retired agent, her name is Jennifer Coffindaffer, when I can get my thief back in. Now, this name, this retired FBI agent, she cropped up a number of times a few months back when all this was going on. So what is she actually saying? Now, she is calling the findings of him ending his life quite bothersome. She says that because it doesn't fit with a right-handed person ending their lives with their off hand. So let's put it this way, right? I'm right-handed, okay? So why would I use my other hand to do jobs that I know ain't going to be done as well as my dominant right hand? Does that make sense? Okay, I hope it does. This is exactly what this retired FBI agent, Jennifer Coffindaffer, is essentially saying. Why do a task with your non-dominant hand? Your natural kind of instinct is that you're going to do it with the hand that you use the most, your dominant hand, and that's her point. Now... We know that he was found in October after he went on the run uh, as he was in being investigated uh, into the demise of his fiance, uh, 22-year-old Gabby Petillo. Um, we know that Petillo was found uh, near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming on September the 19th. Authorities later said that she had unfortunately passed away three to four weeks before they found her. Now, Jennifer Coffindaffer does kind of play a little bit of devil's advocate here and says that Laundry may have been ambidextrous, which means that he may have been able to use both his hands without any issues whatsoever. But to be fair, unless I've gone completely nuts and insane here, I think it's quite rare to find someone that's that ambidextrous. Do you know what I mean? I mean, in all honesty, if I want to do something, if I want to, I don't know, drink a Coca-Cola, I pick it up with my right hand. If I want to get my phone and use it, I'll pick it up with my left hand because it's on my left hand side, but I'm going to quickly put it onto my right hand, right hand, (laughs) and use it, right? And just go, do you know what I mean? So, hmm. The ambidextrous thing, yes, is a possibility. However, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, I think it's rare to find someone that's that ambidextrous. Uh, She says that I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, but I cannot ignore facts, nor can I ignore statistics. And she said, and here we go, it's proving what I've just said. And statistics would say a predominantly right-handed person does not end themselves with their left hand. Yes, okay. So in the autopsy report that was released by the medical examiner's office a couple of weeks back on the 14th of February, 
Investigators observed that Laundrie's personal belongings, including a notebook in which Laundrie confessed to ending Gabby Petillo as they were traveling the country in a van, were surrounded by apparent human remains that were scattered on top of the dirt ground in plain sight. Now, before we carry on in uh, any further with the article, uh, here's a picture of retired FBI agent Jennifer Coffin Daffer. So there she is. Now, Coffin Daffer specializes in gangs, certain substances that aren't that great, and organized crime. Uh, Title Three electronic surveillance she's also specialized in. Uh, and counterintelligence investigations that she specialized in during her time at the FBI. And this is according to a biography for Eagle Security Group, a firm that offers expert witnesses in court cases. Uh, she also founded the Firearms Beyond International, whose mission is to teach self-defense, marksmanship, tactical use of force, active shooter self-defense, and um, uh, awareness, let's say, to civilians. To me, she says, the case doesn't end because it ends with a question mark, she told Radar Online. She says, how or why did he use his non-dominant hand to end himself? She added that the best chance the public has of seeing any evidence of the case is if Petillo's family sues Laundrie's family and his state. Uh, Laundrie's autopsy revealed that his body was used by the wild animals around uh, and that the official kind of the official thing is that he ended himself in the ed um, before he was discovered at the Florida swamp. Now, on the 47-page document, then notes that laundry had been subjected to moderately extensive animal activity, let's put it that way, and that the areas is consistent, the area that he was found in is consistent with animals that would do what they did um, to his body afterwards without going into too much detail there. Now, aside from the notebook, several other items were recovered from a dry bag near Laundrie's remains, which, found, which were found near his parents' North Port home, including a wooden box containing the journal as well as several photos. Um, and they were all, like, scattered upon the dirt ground, so they're quite easy to find accordingly. Um, now... The report confirmed that Laundrie had passed away um, with him ending himself and that he's o he was only the primary person of interest in the disappearance of the 22-year-old uh, Gabby Petillo. So the, the kind of gist of what this retired FBI agent, Jeff Jennifer Coffinder, is saying is... The autopsy's turning around and saying that he ended himself with his left hand. However, his dominant hand is actually his right hand. So logic would dictate that instinctively, if you're going to do anything, any action whatsoever, right, it's going to be with the right hand. So why did he do it with his left hand? And so that's when she's then pontificating and thinking, okay, well, did he get help? Did he get help in his ultimate final action on this earth in the end? Now, this is what a lot of people actually have considered and thought about because when they eventually did find Brian Laundrie, it was very quick. And if memory serves me right, it was one of the parents initially that found him. Or... One of the parents that, let's say, give the FBI, give the authorities the area in which they should uh, uh, eventually search after all the searches that they did. So there's always been, there's always been this conspiracy theory, right? No, it's not proven. So it's got, we've got to say it's a conspiracy theory. There's always been this conspiracy theory, right? That the parents helped Brian Laundrie in some way, shape, or form. Now, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, do I believe that the parents helped Brian Laundrie escape, run away? Hell yes, all day long. I believe that. And that's my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. It's not fact. 
but I believe that. Do I believe that they helped him in terms of his ultimate final action on this earth? Oh, that's a biggie. Honestly, if I if 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 I was forced to answer that question and not sit on the fence with it, I would say no. Because what parent would do that? What parent would do that? However, I do understand this e retired FBI's kind of questioning of it, like saying, look, this picture does not, this picture does not make sense, right? There's something wrong with this picture, right? He's a right-handed dude. However, he made his final action using his left hand. That doesn't make sense. He could have been ambidextrous, yes. There is no evidence and, and no no in the public sphere to suggest that he was ambidextrous. So we can only go on what we know at the moment, which is his right-handed. So why did he use his left hand in the end for his ultimate final act on this earth? So I can understand why she's questioning that. And I can understand then why she's questioning the official kind of chain of events that's being reported out there at the moment in terms of what Brian Laundrie did for his final act on this earth, right? But then if he was helped, who helped him? Yeah? I don't, I cannot see it would have been the parents. If I'm going to go full on conspiracy tinfoiled hat here, I can't see it was the parents that did it. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think the parents could have helped him? And again, this is pure conspiracy. My opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, guys. If he did get help, do you think it was the parents? Do you think it could have been the sister? Do you think it could have been her? Do you think it could have been a friend? If you think, if you believe, or if you think there's any grain of truth to what this retired FBI agent is saying in regards to him using his left hand rather than the right dominant hand and it not making sense, and initially then thinking maybe he got help, who do you think helped Brian Laundrie uh, in his ultimate final act on this earth? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so already and you've got this far, what are you doing? Do me a big, massive favor. Give that good old red subscribe button a nice little tickle for me, will ya? Uh, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, you guys, laters.